Welcome to the Clapper Racing YouTube channel. So, today I'm going to make me a quick little uh, trans brake button box where I can just grab it and hold that button for the trans brake and this light will come on. It's just a little uh, project box I got from Radio Shack probably 10 years ago. I haven't used it. Um, but apparently on that valve body on that car, you have to hold the trans brake button to get it in reverse. I did not know that. I was thinking that the transmission was messed up and didn't have reverse until I called the guy that I bought the car from. Maybe all uh, trans brake valve bodies are like that, but if they are, I was not aware of that. Um, like I said, this is my first dealings with the automatic stuff on anything um, as far as uh, performance stuff goes. All Everything I've ever owned has been uh, stick shift cars. So... Um, I'm going to wire this thing in to the trans brake. I'm going to steal power off this harness here because I'm not using any of this other um, stuff. This is for like uh, power mirrors and stuff like that, which this car doesn't have. The, so the buttons are blanked out. So I'm going to run power from there to the trans brake solenoid. The trans brake is grounded. The solenoid is grounded to the transmission. So that should be able to solve my reverse issues. And um, later on, I'll wire up the uh, two-step and bump box and all that stuff. I'm still trying to figure out in my head a good way to do that. But for now, this will take care of my re no reverse problem. But, um, yeah, I'm going to do that. And uh, that should really be about it for the car for, that I'm going to do for right now. Um, I'd like to clean it up because it's really dirty. But so far, the car's doing good. And... Um, I still need to change the gear ratio in the rear end. Um, I've got a set of 327s here that I need to put in it. Um, laying in this box. As you can see, there's the pinion and the uh, ring gear. But that'll have to be another time because I'm tired of working on the car right now. Um, but I would like to take it up and down the road a few times. So I'm going to get this done and make sure reverse works and uh, maybe drive it around a little bit this afternoon or something but it is blazing hot outside so i don't really want to drive it a whole lot but i'll uh get started on this little guy here i don't really know why i'm going to show you guys this i just want to show you just how dumb i am the car was running the other day and i was going to test out the trans brake <clears throat> here's my little box that i made for to put it in reverse basically just flip the switch and then you hit the button and it puts it in reverse. You kind of hear the solenoid clicking. But, um, so I was testing that out and the car cut off. Well, couldn't get it to start back up. Didn't know why. And, um, so I went and got the laptop and brought it outside and did a little trigger log on it. And I was getting absolutely no cam signal at all. So... I crawled up under the car, and this is what I found. A bunch of smashed wires that I smashed in the between the engine and the bell housing. Like a freaking idiot. Now, I don't know why they quit working, because it wasn't... They're not really cut. The insulation isn't cut. It's just smashed. So... Um... Yeah. But anyways... It didn't work. Quit running. And uh, so I had to go under there this morning. I undid the bell housing bolts, uh, dropped the cross member, fished the uh, harness out. And now I've got to cut the bad wire out here and uh, solder in some good new stuff. So story of my life, it's a pain, but whatever. Mistakes are made when you're building these cars and um, you're going to do it too if you build a car. Sorry, I don't care how good you are, but you're going to make stupid mistakes. It happens, especially when you get in a rush like I was on building this thing. But I'm going to get to uh, soldering that, and hopefully I'll have it running in 30 minutes to an hour. Um, depending on how motivated I am, but I'll keep you updated. We'll go for a little ride. brake button hooked up
controller settings. up there so I can actually put this thing in reverse. I'll lay you down.
is running about 200 degrees right now. So, see if it can maintain that. Yeah. 